Good morning. I thought I'd show you how I make my nuke boxes and what they look like. This is my nuke box. Um, this is just one level. I overwinter in two of these. The top has the styro piece of styrofoam, foam you'll are. You just cut to size with a handsaw. I hear you can do it on a table saw, though I've never tried. The inner cover is a feed bag plastic inner cover, or FBIC, if you want to be clever. Um, I like these because they're cheap. We just cut them off the, cut them up, and make them just fit the box. The box itself is a straightforward box with rabbited joints and these OD Frank handles, which are just cleats with an angle on them, and the outer hole three quarters of an inch, three inches from the top, and centered. The bottom board is three quarter of inch plywood with rails on three sides. Um, I make these little entrance reducers. My tip in this is when you make the rails, if you make the rails a little thicker than standard one by wood, which as you know is three quarter of inch thick, then it'll fit in here easily. If you make them all the same size, when you get a few layers of paint on, you sometimes have trouble getting the entrance reducer in. Going back to the box itself, I use six pieces of wood. The One of the beauties of you making a rabbit joints is two pieces of wood need nothing other than cutting to size. The ends are 19 and 1, not the ends, the sides are 19 and 1 8 by 9 and 5 8. The end pieces are nine inches wide by nine and five eighths and the rabbit joint on the other side is three quarters of an inch deep this way the same on both sides by three eighths because 19 and one eighth from the side plus three eighths from this side and three eighths from the other side make a total of 19 and seven eighths I glue them up um, using tight bond 2 and I clamp them together to, get, to make them square. Measure the cross diagonal and try and get it within a, a, a quarter, an eighth to a quarter of an inch to be as square as you possibly can. Remember these are B boxes, it's not fine furniture. Um, after the glue's dried I use I use uh, nails, and I use these nails. I use um, 6D uh, two-inch galvanized nails, box nails, and I and I make I have made a little stick, and I have this stick, and this is the top of the box. I have a little stick, and I've got nine nail holes marked out on the side. You could ask why there's that big gap in the middle. Well, that's because after I've done, the box is all glued and dried up initially, then I will put on the cleat. I put the cleat on here, and I glue it on, and I hold it on um, with just two, a nail on each side. Nail on each side, and the glue is enough to hold it. That doesn't need any further clamping. I like these because they just bury themselves into your hands. I got this design from O.D. Frank from bsource.com. He's a California beekeeper who knows what he's doing when uh, it comes to these cleats. The last thing I do before I paint them is I make a three quarter of an inch auger hole, th three inches from the top, and of course half of the nine inch is four and a half inches. That puts, puts me in the center. I use Man Lake plastic frames, PF117s. I like these because um, they're cheap and <coughs> and they've been working for me and I've not really tried anything else. So I'll, why change something that's something that's working? Lastly, um, a couple of layers of Oops paint, um, glorious hot pink. I, I couldn't help it, sorry. Well, that's that's about it. So, um, I'm not a woodworker, I only make these when I'm alert, I've got all my ten fingers, I intend to keep it that way, keep yours that way too. I've 
when you do the most finicky cuts are actually on the table saw. I cut the, I cut these um, with the fence on a table saw, having it going flat through to, to make a three quarter inch cut, and then taking on the same side all the way around, having the having the same measurement means less adjustments on the table saw, and it works pretty well. And then the three for the three eighths cuts, I set the, the fence to um, that which way around is it now? Yeah, that way around. There's the, there would be the saw, and I set the saw up, and I run this down the side of the fence and zip it like that, being very careful to keep all ten fingers. Okay, that's about it.